Let's take a closer look at the different things you can do within a tab to change views or look at data differently. Before we start, there are two things to note. First, as an end user, changing your view only impacts your view. It will not affect or change other people's views. In order to do that, changes need to be made from the administrator level. Second, you can always put your view back to default by selecting Reset on the Tabs menu. If you want to isolate specific parts of the dashboard page, use the drop-down menu to maximize your view. Depending on which browser you are using, you might be able to zoom in and out as well. Just keep in mind that Reset does not change your browser's zoom level. To remove the Maximize effect, use the same menu and select Restore. As long as we are talking about the drop-down menu, here are a few more handy things to find on it. First thing to note is these drop-down menus are specific to the data element they are attached to, so the items selected apply just to that element. Located under the Edit submenu are options for Copy Across and Copy Down. You use these to enter repetitive data more quickly. In this example, say we want to make all of the percent complete fields 10%. Simply make the first one 10%, select it, and use Copy Down. Here we are just showing a few cells, but imagine how much time it'll save if you have hundreds or even thousands of cells to fill in. By the way, now is a good time to mention that in Anaplan, only the blue fields can be edited. If a field is black, it is usually a formula, or part of a roll-up hierarchy and can't be changed. Anaplan has the ability to search the data elements as well by choosing Search and entering a search term. A list of possible results will appear. Select the one you want to view. Much like a spreadsheet, Selecting columns or rows and right-clicking allows you to hide them. Whereas selecting show results in a view that shows only what you've selected. Remember, you can always return to the default view using the tab menu and selecting reset. Your dashboards might be set up with action buttons that navigate you to other tabs or start a process. For example, on the Project Summary page, click Project KPIs and the Project KPI Summary tab opens. Another example of an action button is to start the Manage Project function by selecting a project and then clicking Manage Project. There are a few more robust features such as sorting, filtering, and pivoting that are discussed in other videos. Go check them out!